The new Mocha Pro 2022 release is packed with workflow improvements, new exports, and multiple features designed to improve your planner tracking and roto work. In this video, we are going to focus on the majorly improved insert module, which can now be driven by PowerMesh. In 2021, Boris FX introduced PowerMesh, the next generation of Mocha's famous planar tracking engine. PowerMesh brings a subplanar process to Mocha tracking and is optimized to subdivide surfaces to track warped and organic objects like skin or fabrics. An important new workflow here is that the insert module now includes PowerMesh warp. Now users can preview inserts with PowerMesh warping, adjust surface distortions with the updated grid warp tool, and then render the final composite out with motion blur. This streamlined workflow is all contained in one Mocha Pro effect. This is an efficient workflow for screen replacements, tracked graphics, and simple digital makeup shots. Best yet, it does not require multiple processing steps and can even be done in an editing application like Media Composer, Premiere Pro, or Vegas. For advanced projects that require paintwork or advanced effects, we can certainly still use the reverse stabilized power mesh workflow introduced in 2021. But what I like about the insert module is we can do complex shots within our editing timeline without diving into After Effects, Nuke, Flame, or Fusion. Let's look at how the insert module with power mesh works in Premiere Pro. We'll apply the Mocha Pro plugin to this shot and we'll set up the insert graphic on this layer below it. Before launching the Mocha interface, let's enable the insert graphic from layer one here. We'll launch Mocha and do our power mesh track. Note as I set up my track and grid options, here we now have the ability to track power mesh on individual RGB color channels, but I'll use the luminance default. When my track is done, I will enable the insert graphic here under the layer properties. This will pull the graphic from whatever layer I choose in the host application. Or if we are using the standalone Mocha Pro application or using a host like Avid Media Composer, we can import the source graphic with an alpha from file. Let's go back to the insert source I want and look closer at the new insert module updates. In the insert module, we can adjust the source file here. And if we want the insert to use the proper aspect ratio, we'll choose fit surface to ROI here. In the comp tab, we now have blending modes. Transfer mode blending can now be done inside the Mocha Pro interface, making it easier to visualize final results and create realistic composites. This means you can overlay a screen insert right onto a phone or multiply a logo onto a shirt. Also note that you can edit the blending modes after the fact, back in the plugin interface here. Getting back to PowerMesh, if we want our tracked insert to inherit the PowerMesh tracking, we can enable PowerMesh warp. Now the insert will distort by the PowerMesh vertices points. Often when working on PowerMesh projects, we want to bend or distort the insert graphic. And to do this, we have improved the grid warp user interface. Here we can display up to four layers of grid complexity and show or hide the grid and grid points. We have interactive controls to distort and bend our insert graphic. If our power mesh tracking was accurate, often we only have to set up our grid warp on one frame and let Mocha handle the rest. Understanding the difference between power mesh tracking vertices and the grid warp is key to mastering this workflow. Once I'm happy with my insert, we can enable motion blur here. We'll save and exit Mocha and then enable either insert composite for a final render or insert cutout if we want to separate the warped insert onto its own layer. I often do this if I want to add some grain or other Boris effects plugins to the insert layer. Lastly, we are also excited that we can now render with high quality sub sampling options in the insert module. Here in the Mocha Pro project settings, we can choose from nearest neighbor, bilinear, and Lanxos for more quality control and crisper renders. 
Mocha Pro's new 2022 release brings valuable improvements to the insert module. New power mesh warping, blending modes, the improved grid warp interface, and higher quality rendering combine to make this an essential update for all Mocha users. Find out more at BorisFX.com where you can download a trial, watch new tutorials, and interface with experts on our forums.